This is the instructions of doing this. I'm calling it PAR. <laughs> P-A-A-A-R-W. And that means it stands for passive, active, active assisted, and resisted and weighted. So it's getting the foot woken up. So first we're gonna do, actually first we're gonna do just this fascial releasing. So you wanna move the tissue around the underlying bones and tendons. So you're gonna twist your whole foot, skin, and then while it's twisted, move your toes. See if you can feel the tendons on both sides. And twist the other way and feel. This is unhooking the nerves and the layers of fascia. And then we're gonna just do a little rolling on each toe. So you roll the skin on each foot and that these little nerves come out the sides and we're helping, you can roll and kind of push this way. So we're waking up so we can feel more and then we'll have better ability to know how to move and how to balance, okay? Don't feel shy about just massaging too. It's really okay to just rub your foot in lots of different directions and get the blood flow and the things released. Really important around the ankles, inner and outer ankle. This is often totally stuck on people and the nerves come right through there. So you can do kind of pushing, you can do some little twisty things like this to just try and get the surface more loose. See how that's loose? You want to achieve that but it might take a while. Okay, and then we're gonna do twist around the ankle while we move the ankle, twist it the other way and move it. That's helping to release. And we're gonna come up the, the calf, shin, and moving the structures that are under it. Twist and move. Twist as hard and far as you can. Hold it tight and move. So around the knee, then I'm gonna move the knee too. And I can do it through these clothes because I can pull still. Okay, and we're going to work all the way up to the hip here. So twist, he might grab a whole bunch of muscle. And in this area, it most with most people, it works really good to do it towards the midline because that helps the nerves in that area release better. So I'm going to pull and then even do my hip a little bit. Pull in and up and do the hip. You can kind of grab your britches and pull them up while you move. Okay, that's that part. Now's the parv. parv. I have a bit of a better name. But anyway, so however you can get your foot, it could be this way, it could be this way. You're bending your knees. If you can't reach it, then you have to have somebody else help you do it. You have to have a buddy to share doing it. So what we're gonna do is start with passive with our toes curling down. And then our toes passive, meaning my hands are doing it, my foot is completely relaxed. It's important to be able to learn to let your foot not help. It's part of retraining the nervous system. That's all what we're doing is getting more ability and refinement in our skills of moving subtly and that wakes up the nerves, the coordination. So my fingers are moving and my foot is relaxed. That's passive. So active assisted is where my foot is doing it and my hands are assisting. My foot is active and my hands are assisting. So there's a slow motion movement happening, bending the toe, starting with the toes, upper toe, lower toe, and then down to the ankle. And the fingers are helping make it smooth, even, maybe a little more thorough, pulling up at the end. Your body might not have done that all the way. Okay, so that's active assisted. That's the two A's. Active is just you do it yourself. So I'm curling my toes up, I'm flexing the ankle, curl my toes down. And now I just got a cramp and I usually don't because I've done it a lot of times, but you will get cramps and you have to just plow through it because they do get better. That's why I say I usually don't to get them, but maybe I haven't been doing this enough lately. Okay. So that's the active. And then resisted is 
curling the toes down and pushing. So my toes are pushing and my fingers are resisting that. Pushing the toes down and the hands are resisting just enough to allow the foot to win and move, but kind of give it a run for its money there a little bit. Down and up. Strengthening the whole push, 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 push as far as you can in each direction. Okay, and the weighted one I wouldn't recommend doing yet just because you can do it later. It's really powerful, but it, it's just you don't need to do all of it at once. But the weight it is as though there's a weight sitting on my toes that my toes have to lift up against. Okay, so imagine there's a weight here. They're lifting up while they're stretching. So they're pushing up and they're slowly curling down while they press up. So don't worry if this one doesn't make sense now. But I'm waiting on the bottom side now. There's a weight pushing up and my foot is gradually curling. So it takes a lot more coordination. It's kind of level two. But I thought I'd just demonstrate it here and that way it's all together. So it's kind of push, keep a little pressure, and then the foot is uncurling. It's like an active with weight. Okay, that's the foot routine for the lesson one. Thank you. Cool.